Assalamu alaikum friends. This is Sami from Civil Engineers and today in this video lecture I am going to talk about how to calculate quantity of cement sent and aggregate in RCC slab and you can also use the same formula and the same method to find the quantity of concrete for beam, column etc. Because this is just depend on the volume of any structure then you are able to find quantity of cement sent and aggregate easily for beam column and slab etc let's start if this video is helpful for you so must like the video and subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates but this video is long because in this video i will tell you in detail about uh, also water cement ratio that how much water are required for beam column and slab for concrete let's start first of all how to calculate concrete volume for beam column and slab because uh, before starting find quantity of concrete for beam column and slab then we have to find the volume of beam column or slab right so how we can find the volume of slab beam or column so if you want to find the volume so we need there three dimensions which can give us the volume of any structure so that is volume is equal length multiply height multiply width or breadth right so with this we can get the volume of any structure then we are able to find the quantity of cement sand in aggregate easily. So for slab, if we need to calculate the concrete volume, how we can find the volume of slab? You can see here, length. So this is the length of slab, right? Then height or depth. So this is the height or thickness of the slab. Now width or breadth. So this is the breadth of or the width of slab. So from this we can get one two three dimension dimensions which can give us the volume of rcc slab and for same we can use for beam or column right but the column is vertical and this is beam which is horizontal you can see for beam for beam or column if we need to calculate the concrete volume right so for that we have to find the volume of this structure if this is beam because this is beam and the column is vertical so you can use the same formula to find the volume of beam or column so this is beam so first we need the length so this is length multiply its width and multiply its depth it can give us the volume of beam and you can use for the uh, column same formula three dimensions right now how to calculate quantity of concrete in slab Okay, in concrete there is uh, a cement sand and aggregate. So concrete calculation for slab, right? It is the same formula and the same method for beam and column. So for cement, sand and coarse aggregate, right? Or crush. Assuming we need 2 meter cube or 2 meter cube of concrete for M20 grade mix. M20 grade ratio is, mix ratio is M20 right and use minimum m20 grade of concrete for slab so therefore i am finding the quantity of uh, concrete which grade is m20 m20 ratio is one ratio 1.5 ratio 3 one is cement 1.5 is sand and three is crush or aggregate coarse aggregate right now total part of concrete so total part of concrete is cement sand and coarse aggregate so one plus 1.5 plus three one is cement 1.5 plus is sand and plus 3 is crush or aggregate which is m20 grade so total parts become 5.5 total parts of concrete become 5.5 now we we will find quantity of uh, quantity of cement and sand then aggregate now therefore cement quantity so how we can find cement quantity right in uh, in bags okay in cement bags so cement part divided by concrete parts if you want to find cement quantity right so the formula is cement parts divided by concrete parts cement part is here one you can see here this is one right and concrete parts is total 5.5 right multiply concrete volume which is 2 meter cube right so is equal one is cement part divided by concrete parts which is 5.5 you can see 5.5 multiply concrete volume you can see here concrete volume which is 2 meter cube you can see now 1 
divided by 5.5 multiply 2 because concrete volume which can give us 0 0.3636 meter cube this is the volume of cement 0 0.3636 meter cube now we should convert it to numbers of cement bags so density of the cement is we know that 1440 kg per meter cube it's a density of cement so is equal 0 0.3636 is the volume of cement which we need to bring for 2 meter cube which grade is m20 so 0 0.3636 multiply 1440 because this is the density of cement which can give us 523 so 523 kg cement are required for 2 meter cube concrete is equal 10.5 approximately bags okay because one bag of num because one bag is equal 50 kg of cements so we need to bring 10.5 numbers of bag for 2 meter cube concrete now we need to find cent quantity so cent part is equal Sand part divided by concrete parts, right? Multiply concrete volume, which is 2 meter cube. So sand part is 1.5. You can see here because it is being done. 1. Because that was for cement. Now this is for sand. So 1.5 part sand, right? Divided by 5.5. Total part of concrete. 5.5 multiply 2, which is for 2 meter cube. So we need to bring 0 0.5454 54 meter cube. What? Sand. Now we need to find coarse aggregate. So coarse aggregate part divided by concrete part. Coarse aggregate part is 3. And concrete uh, total concrete part is 5.5. So you can see here 3 divided by 5.5 multiply 2. This one. So we need 1.09 meter cube quantity of coarse aggregate right now we need here to find what you can see here water cement ratio for 2 meter cube concrete for m20 grade so according to is indian standard code 10262 2009 assuming water cement ratio for concrete is 0 0.45 percent right so required amount of water is equal water cement ratio multiply cement volume right what is the cement volume the cement volume is here 0 0.3636 meter cube so required required amount of water water cement ratio multiply cement volume so therefore water is equal 0 0.45 this percent multiply 0 0.3636 meter cube so we need to put 0 0.16362 meter cube water in 2 meter cube concrete which is m20 grade right but in this cement we need to put 0 0.16362 meter cube amount of water now unit weight of water is 1000 liters per meter cube so how much liters of water are required for this volume of cement 0 0.3636 so required amount of water 0 0.16 362 this is the volume of water 0 0.16362 multiply 1000 because unit weight of water is 1000 liters per meter right so it will give us 163.62 liters so we required 164 liters of water for this volume of cement but so this is the method to find how to calculate quantity of concrete for beam, column and slab and also its water cement ratio. If you need to make a screenshot from this so you are able to find you are able to make a screenshot from this easily. Right? This is concrete calculation for RCC slab for cement, sand and crush or coarse aggregate. Right? Now how you can find volume of beam column and slab etc so this is the other you are able to make a screenshot from this easily you can see right guys so if you have any question about this video so you can comment so i will try to reply your answer you can see 
right so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye